to your weekly inspiration with me, your host, Tanya Melendez, the Tarot Life Coach and Go-To Guru Girlfriend. So today is Sunday, March 16th. I am filming this today on this wonderful full moon. And this full moon energy is all about transformation. It's all about this mystical and magical energy of pulling what needs to be shed from our life and embracing what needs to be revealed and healed and embraced in our life. This is the last full moon of winter, so we are really moving into this time of nourishment and springtime, bringing to life, rebirth is now. So the cards we're going to use today, the first off is the magical messages from Michael, that will be our mantra message, and then our inspirational message will come from the messages from the fairies as well as our tarot reading. So let's see what Michael has to say for us today on this wonderful full moon. And I have been really feeling this energy. So, ooh, we get a good one. Pay attention to your dreams. And this says, my prayer, Archangel Michael, thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderful restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this, whatever it is you need healing with, on a spiritual level and give me guidance. So I love that we got this card, especially because it is on this full moon. So ask Michael to come into your spirit, come into your and guide you, be your healer and your teacher and your guide. That is what Archangel Michael is for. So tonight, with this full moon, en full moon energy, make sure you call on Michael to guide you, to embrace you, and to allow you to know what it is you need to know. So, wow, we got some doozies. All right, so the first one, this goes perfectly. Let go. As you surrender, the need to control your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. So here we go. We understand what this means. Let go of the old. Let it go. Surrender it. Let it be done. It's over. No more. And then we get pregnancy. Now what I feel with this is this is also about rebirth. Remember, birth means that something has to die in order for something to give way. So one door closes, another one opens. But this is also about our spiritual rebirth, not just about a literal pregnancy. Or it could be a literal pregnancy because this full moon is all about transformation. So allow yourself to really take time today to set some intentions. And then our last card from the fairies is emotional healing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. So I love that we got this card because it is right in alignment exactly with what this whole full moon is all about. So we are on fire and that's the reason I chose today to do the video because I really like to harness that powerful full moon energy. Wow. So, okay. So here's our message. First things first, we get the four of swords. What this card is telling me is that it's time to lay down those things that need to be laid down. Remember, swords represent air and thought. So it's time to bring yourself back to life. No more holding back because you're afraid. No more holding back because of you failed in the past. No more holding back because of anything. Time to embrace your power. Time to break out of your shell. Because then here, of course, these cards are on fire today. We get, of course, the death card. You know, death doesn't mean a literal death. It means a letting go of the old. It means allowing yourself to be rebirth, allowing yourself to shed what needs to be shed so you can reveal what needs to be revealed. So this is not a literal death, but a figurative death, a spiritual death and a reawakening. Awakening. And then our last card is stop holding on to pain and fear, judgment and resentment, guilt, shame and blame from the past. The only person that's holding on to this energy is you and it's time to let it go today is the time to embrace. The present moment is where you need to grow, heal, reveal, and allow. So bygones are bygones. Death to the old self. Again, this is the last full moon of winter. Embrace the newness that comes with spring, the vitality, the energy, the you know, the growth and expansion. Allow that to be your gift this week. So wow, what a great message we got.
I wanted to share a crystal with you. I have what's called Charioite, and this is C H A R O I T E, and I'll read it to you what from the Crystal Bible. So Charioite, and remember, I want to let you know I picked this stone before, of course, I picked the cards. So this stone is a stone of transformation. It is a soul, a soul stone that overcomes fear. It stimulates inner vision and spiritual insight and aids in coping with enormous change on a spiritual level. This is why I picked it. To facilitate this, it synthesizes the heart and crown chakras, cleanses the aura, and stimulates unconditional love. It encourages vibrational chain and change and links to higher reality. At the same time, it provides deep emotional healing. It helps you accept the present as perfect. So how amazing is it that we've got the cards that we got, and I had picked this stone before any of that even happened. So we are getting the divine and perfect message. And so the healing qualities is it grounds the spiritual self as well as encourages a path of humanity. Mentally, it stimulates perceptive observations and it helps anyone driven by other people's thoughts. It helps anyone who is driven by other people's thoughts and programs other than their own. So this really is about transmuting negative energy into healing and converts dis-ease into healing. So I love that we got this crystal. So get yourself one of these. Um, it is a very powerful, very powerful crystal. And so then I wanted to share with you um, because I don't really have a lot of announcements. I've been kind of doing my own rebirth back to basics as I've been traveling about working on a couple of things that I'll tell you about in the very near future. But I wanted to share with you something that, you know, I carry this book around with me, as you can see. I carry my crystal Bible, my angel numbers, and this book with me everywhere I go because these are the ones that I need. And I wanted to share this prayer with you to end and really connect with this divine full moon energy. So go ahead and take a nice deep breath breath and in the infinity of life where I am all is perfect whole and complete I now choose calmly and objectively to see my own old patterns and I'm willing to make changes I am teachable I can learn I am willing to change I choose to have fun doing this I choose to react as though I have found a treasure when I discover something else to release I see and feel myself changing moment by moment. Thoughts no longer have power over me. I am the power in the world. I choose to be free. All is well in my world. So I want to leave you with that powerful message, knowing that you are right where you're supposed to be and all is divine and perfect. And it's just the way it's supposed to be. Allow yourself to heal so you can reveal and allow this new energy around you to really fully be embraced and, and, and really take charge of what it is that you want to give birth to in your life. Let go of those things that no longer serve you so you can allow yourself to fully expand into who and what you truly are. Until next week, know that you are loved, you are light, you are peace, and you are blessed. Peace and blessings.